How's it going everyone? My name is Sin, short for Cynical, and welcome back to yet another Umineko no Naku Koroni. Alright, so, if you haven't watched the previous videos, link down in the description below shall bring you to the playlist as well as my Twitter if you want to follow that, as well as there is something new, a new link that goes to my Patreon page. Go ahead and check it out if you feel that uh, you want to see more content in the future of me and uh, future this stuff. Uh, go ahead and check it out. Uh, donate if you will, but do not feel oblig obligated to do so. So uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and continue on from where we last left off. Which was with the old bag. Kumasawa-san. All right. Sa-sa-sa. Oh, we're in this room. Alrighty then. Oh, so we're not going into the meta with the two Beatrices now, hmm? Okie dokie there, Chico Beatry. Eh, <laughs> Really? After waiting for the master of the room to be out, Beto and Kumasawa-san entered the study. Then they quickly cleaned up the books on the desk and set down the basket they had brought there and opened it up. Inside were several cute cookies out, cut out in a butterfly shape. How very cute. They set out a pretty plate and neatly arranged the cookies on it. It was the kind of subtle, consensuous touch that the recipient wasn't likely to even notice. The whole arrangement was filled with that sort of feeling. Ah, here we go. Hitoshi <laughs> こんなことくらいですので。ふん。わらわがバトラに<笑> Here we go. It was Battler with Genji by his side. Battler's eyes went wide for a second when he saw Bito there, but his expression quickly went blank again. ここ yeah, he certainly doesn't look like the type to bake cookies, huh? Ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-
and his face twisted with a complex expression, which might have been one of sadness, and might have been one of hatred. Oh boy. Please don't say anything bad here, please. Genji urged him to consider saying some words of gratitude to Bito. Bachelor understood. Anyone would be pleased to receive an act of kindness like this. Even though he understood it logically, he couldn't help but give a small exasperated sigh. That was not sincere at all. Pepe said. <gasps> you take that back, you son of a bitch! Sweets are life! Or what? You do it yourself, bitch. <laughs> okay, enough of that. <clears> oh, <throat> sama Don't don't throw the plate. Don't do it. Nope. Don't push. Kumasawa-san, don't. Son of a bitch. Kimochiはありがたく受け取っておく. Oh, come on, man. Son of a bitch, why do you have to be so stubborn? Kinda like someone else, hmm? Anywho. Sore wa amari ni mo hidou gozaimasu. Kimochi wa kansha suru oi ni kekkou de gozaimasu. Shikashi, sore o semete hitokuchi. Omeshi ni naru katachi de wa oshimeshi dekimasen ka? Otou-sama. Bito looked at the battler sadly. Battler hung his head to avoid her gaze. The expression on his face caused Beetle more pain than any he had shown her before. Hmm. Ah, this sucks. Kumasawa, sore o katazuke, sagaru yoni. Oyakata sama. Kumasawa-san clung to Battler, but he turned his back to her. He's an asshole now. Hmm. <laughs> せめてこのような形でもお力になりたいと頑張られた差し入れでございます。それを一口さえせずに下げろとは女をバカにするにも程がございます。熊沢。親方様も男ならば女の手作りの差し入れにせめてどうか一口で結構でございますので。That's right. Preach it, Kumasawa-san. You preach it. Amen. What? <laughs> Be a man. Take a bite out of that cookie, bitch. <laughs> oh, shit. That's right. Try the cookie, motherfucker. <laughs> さわさ。ああ、<笑> 
Wow. Okay. Yeah. If Beto ever came to give me cookies, of course I'd figure that she'd put some kind of crazy poison in them. And she's asking me if I think there's poison in these. Who would expect that cookies piled up in such a neat and cute way could possibly have something bizarre hidden inside of them? And anyway, who could possibly imagine Beetle making something like this? But that was the previous Beatrice. This is Chico Beatrice. Come on, you back chuckas. <laughs> anyway, because of that, Patula couldn't bear to look at Beto's innocent reaction, which was completely free from any malicious thoughts, like slipping poison into cookies. My god. Beto quietly started to clean up. Every now and then she sniffled. <laughs> I hate this motherfucker. <laughs> Kumasawa continued to, to glare at the battler. But she then gave a small sigh and helped the beetle clean up. However, the hardness didn't disappear from her expression. Yikes. <laughs> You an asshole! I don't like you no more. Get the fuck out of my screen, bitch. It's okay, Chico Beatrice. It's okay. <laughs> How the tides have turned. <laughs> this is how great this show is. Not show, but series. I guess you would call it. <sighs> Visual novel. Whatever. Who cares? I'm right. You're wrong. Shut up. <laughs> this is how great it is. I have completely 180'd, okay? It switched on me. Now I hate Battler. Now I like Beatrice. What the fuck? No. I... Nope. Oh. <laughs> Shut up! Whatever. <laughs> <sighs> you don't have to be sorry. You don't. No. God damn it. 180. Son of a bitch. Hanging her head so low that her chin touched her chest, Abito hurried out of the study. After giving Bachelor a look, and you know what that look is, guys. You know, you yeah, okay? I'm done. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm I'm done. Kumasawa chased after her. Kumasawa threw the door open a bit violently, and the footsteps of the pair rapidly disappeared off into the distance. Ah, that was rough. That was mega rough. Yeah, Angie's like, what the fuck, Batsler? Come on. Brother, come on. <laughs> well, to her, she's actually brother, sister, but not brother. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm hyper, okay? Leave me alone. <laughs> yeah. Basically what I just said. It's, it's sad. It's, it's, it's bad, man. It's bad. I mean, yeah. <laughs> you don't treat women like that ever. All right. Not even when I'm just hypothetically here <laughs> so any woman watching please don't take this as a actual statement here or whatever okay but i okay never mind i i don't even know what to say about this it's like i said it completely 180'd but 
Well, it's true, we also don't know the full truth. We don't know why he's acting like this, I guess. We don't know the full picture. There we go, that's why I wanted to say. Hmm. But still no excuse. True. True, true, true. Mega true. Anyway, I digress. I, I'm gonna shut up. どうして慣れ合ってるのかさっぱりわからない。うーん。今思ってレアとは倒すべき私たちの最大の敵だと思ってる。でもだからといって、あの兄ちゃんの対応は女として愉快じゃないわ。Right, right. I I'm stuck on I'm stuck in the middle. I'm stuck on basically both sides. I'm neutral in this. I don't know what to feel. This is a little bit uncomfortable. I hate it. Ah, oh, so right. God damn. Hmm. I still don't understand what kind of antagonism or connection there was between them. However, Onichan probably viewed Bito as a friendly rival, if not something more. Onichan's reason for defeating Bito isn't to destroy an enemy out of hatred. It feels it feels like he wants to give a si sincere answer to her questions. Yes. I can't deny the fact that their fight isn't based on hatred, but on a stronger emotion. さらに言えば、あそこまで詰めたくされて、それでもなお、お兄ちゃんに尽くそうとするベアとも、大したもんだわ。うーん。もう一人の姉のベアとと、私も同意見よ。どうしてお兄ちゃんにあそこまで尽
駒は生み出した造物種に絶対服従しなくてはならないルールでもあるの、oh, そんなルールはない。Hmm. Then why is Erica so dedicated to her? Like, I, never mind. Okay, I, I, I withdraw that. Never mind. Okay. <clears throat> hmm, I don't know about that. ゲームマスターが上手に扱えば便利な道具になるしかし扱いを間違えれば自らを傷つけもする道具になろうと狂気になろうとそこに道具の意思はないただ結果があるだけだじゃあどうしてあんたはお兄ちゃんにアームを尽くすのまるでそれはあなたという駒の目的かのようだわ。By the way, just as a weird funny thought, she calls Bachelor father. Why hasn't she been calling Angie auntie or something like that? <laughs> right? Oh shit. Auntie Angie. Anywho. はい。それが私が生み出された目的だからですえあんたを生み出したお兄ちゃん自身がその目的を与えたの、oh、?My God, バトラー gave birth? Oh, that had ought to be painful.Okay, <笑> jokes aside, okay. それは違う。バトラーはゲームマスターとして<咳>そういう役目を持った駒を盤上に置いたに過ぎない。そして彼女という駒を生み出したのはこのゲームを生み出した最初のゲームマスターであるベアトリーチェ自身だふん、うん、ややこしい話だわつまりあんたはお兄ちゃんのことをお父様お父様呼んでるけど別に父親ってわけじゃないのねあんたはお兄ちゃんに尽くさなければならないという目的のために親しみを込めてお父様と呼んでるだけだわあはいはあ、that expression on her face I don't think I've ever seen Chick Beatrice do this expression before it actually looks like it belongs to the old Beatrice a little bit like she's a little bit agitated hmm anywho そうだと思います私という駒を盤上に置いてくださったのがお父様ですお父様が盤上に置かなければ私という駒の出番はありませんですから私がここにこうして存在しそして私の目的のために尽くせるのは全てお父様のおかげなのですなるほどそしてそれはお父様と呼ぶのにふさわしいってわけね。Damn. じゃあ、誰があんたにお兄ちゃんに尽くすように命じたのああ、それは初代ゲームマスターのベアト自身よね。はぁ ?Wait, what? How? Huh, wait. <sighs> hmm. Maybe? I mean, we're basically still on the board, right? So. Hmm. Huh. That's like a multi dimensional fucking question right there. Damn. Huh. Anywho. Huh? <gasps> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it is. Ugh. My brain's going to explode. Nazi ni sonata wa. 後ろ宮バトラに尽くさねばならぬのかと尋ねたいのであろうしかしそれを彼女に答えることはできぬ彼女に与えられたのは目的だけだ、right. she doesn't have the full answers herself so she can't exactly answer that question 
I get it. その目的を与えた動機は与えた本人にしかわからぬのだから。AKA、uh, Bachelor。All right。なるほど。それも考えてみるがいい人の子よってわけね。<笑> Why are you talking like her now, huh? で、ついでに、あんたにはもうその冊子がついていて、ニヤニヤしながら。私が悩んでいるのを見ているってわけだわ。Ain't that what she do best? <笑>そなたは我が巫女としてつくづく優秀だ。私はお父様に尽くします。私の存在がお父様の幸福のお役に立てる。それが私の一番の喜びです。そして。At that point, Bito hesitated. Oh? 何そして何をあ、はい。What? そして、それをいつかお父様にお認めいただければ。それが私の一番の幸せなのです。Hmm. Maybe that's the key. Maybe that's what Bachelor needs to do in order for things to return to normal. Maybe. I don't know. I just pulling shit out of my ass. <laughs> I'm trying to think of what could happen. I don't know. Huh. <laughs> And they've probably already given a few clues, which pisses me off. Skushtai <laughs> Angie stopped mid sentence. That's less like furniture and more like. You are just a girl who loves Onichan. Sorry, that was my neighbors, if you heard that. <laughs> <clears throat> This is hmm. Okay. I think I understand what the whole six year thing is about. Well, six years was just her saying a time frame. Six years could mean anything. Six years could feel like a thousand years to a witch, as they say, or whatever. So, hmm. I think I understand why she's done what she did. I. Hmm. Shit. I'm still confused about some things, but. Alright. I don't get it. <laughs>、uh, I'm glad I'm not alone. The driving force behind this Beto is that of a girl who adores Onichan. But then, what does that make her? If the first Beto liked Onichan, then she should have adored him and devoted herself to him directly. Why would she create a piece of herself, a separate entity, to do it? As it stands. Even if she does attract only chance attention, it will be towards the peace version of herself, not the creator who made that peace. If I ever like someone, I'll probably want to do things for them. But of course, I'd want to do those things myself. 
After all, I would want him to notice me. It's a love that will always go unrewarded, no matter how devoted she is. And she's doing this out of her own free will. Vito's actions look no different from those of an average girl in love. She's devotedly doing all she can for him, dreaming that her kindness will eventually be acknowledged. Why would Beto create a piece like this? Maybe putting it in a romantic term is a bit too confusing. Let's try using food as an example. Okay, for real, I'm starving here, so not let's not talk about food, please. God damn it. <sighs> Why? This would be as pointless as creating a piece uh, to eat food for you. What? Did I read that right? <laughs> this would be as pointless as creating a piece to eat food. Okay, yeah, I did. Alright, well, that makes little sense but okay no matter how much food your piece eats on your behalf you won't get any less hungry right okay that's what she meant got it you are the one who wants to eat there's no reason to have a piece do that in your place for most jobs in this world you can get someone else to do it for you however with love and food alone there can never be any point to letting another person do it in your place. That's right. This Beto was created as a piece because of an impossible reason. Though at a glance, she looks like just a normal girl. The more I know about her, the less I understand. Like she's an imaginary number. Uh... So よばれるのを嫌われていました。そしてお父様の望まれる私も<笑> どれくはしたいと思います。あんなに冷たくされてよくめげないものね。音。いえ。バトラさんは今大切なゲームに望まれています。相手はライベルンカステル教の駒。強敵エリカ教です。<笑> いよいよゲームが佳境に差し掛かろうというデリケートなところに私がしゃしゃり出てバトラさんが望まないお父様という言葉をかけてしまったのですから機嫌を崩されても無理ないことですあ。Apparently Beto still wanted to devote herself to Battler, even after being treated in such a cold manner. Though to an outsider, it might just look as though she's being snubbed. It doesn't faze her at all. It truly is the blindness of a girl in love. Beto once again immersed herself in the fragment book that the former Beto had written. She was trying to find something about the Beto that Battler desired. Angie shrugged, as though saying, well, I don't get it. But the ring laughed when she saw this, hinting that an innocent young woman could never understand. Angie grumbled something back unhappily. <laughs> Their exchange seemed to have had no effect whatsoever on Beto as she sat in the shadows of the library. The library! Full of books and knowledge! Knowledge! Hmm. After chasing all the others out, only Bachelor remained in the study. There was no color in this dimly lit room. 
However, for just a short time that the plate of cookies had been placed there, the room had seemed at least a little cheery. Ah, <sighs> sad days. Battler's gaze drifted over to the table, which no longer had anything on it. I thought it was on the desk, not the table. Yeah, whatever. When he did, the cookie plate that had been there until a second ago uh, was revived. Oh, shit. However, it was an illusion. Though the cookies could be looked at, they could not be touched, much less eaten. If Battler wished, he could make it possible to touch them or eat them. But it would be an empty sensation. So empty. Oh my god. It would only give the touch and taste that Battler desired. He no longer had any way of knowing what kind of cookies they had been. <sighs> On the reception sofa crawls from Battler. A cloud of gold butterflies slowly gathered, and took the form of the old Abito. Why do you keep doing this to yourself? むしろ自信作の方が不安になろうというものですな。まったくだぜ。お前が作るクッキーなんてどうせおかしな毒が入ってるに決まってる。それは心外な。仮に入っていたとしてもそなたのあれがそうなってこうなっちゃうかもしれ
and vanished into the darkness of the study. The illusions of Ranave and Virgilia also disappeared. However, the illusion of Beto alone still remained on the sofa. <笑>新しきわらわがそなたの望んだ姿とあまりに違えば違うほど わらわが二度と蘇らぬ存在であることを思い知らされるから。であろう。いい女は逃したら二度と捕まらぬわ。今頃になってわらわがいい女だったと気づいただろう <笑> <sighs> now he's crying. Damn, man. Uh, I keep being switched around. I don't know who to feel bad for. Oh my god. Well, you, you, you can feel bad for both, I guess. But, eh. Oh my god, I don't Hmm. <laughs> Vito laid sprawled on the sofa and looked up at the ceiling. Battler also turned his back and moved to the window. For a while there was silence. <laughs> あ、分かってる。あのベアとは紛れもない。お前自身ではあっても。かつてのお前とは異なる存在で。お前はもう絶対に蘇らない。わらわの魂とこの女らしさ、性格の良さ、気風の良さは魔女としての千年を経ぬ限り、わらわと同じにはなり得ぬ。すなわち、そなたがわらわを生み出そうと目論む時点で、すでに生い立ちが異なるのだ。ああ、お前が絶対に生み返らないなんて、あのショーアル
<笑>自分の胸に聞けとはよく言ったものよ<笑> It hurts If only she didn't look so much like you I would have kept my cool a little better まあ好きにせよかつてわらわはそなたを抑えなのもてあそんだ今度はそなたがそれをわらわに復讐する番だ新しきわらわは何もわからずおろおろとするのみ見るも焼くもそなた次第よ積年の恨みも晴れるであろうが<笑>お前自身が相手ならなさぞや気分も爽快だろうぜだがあのベアとはお前じゃないわらわでないと言うなら誰なのかお前によく似た別人だだが紛れもなくわらわでもあるぞそうだなお前自身でありそして同時に別人なんだならば新しきわらわも災難なものよわらわの身代わりに慰み者とされておるわ<笑>なんと気の毒なことか<笑> That might be the contradiction inside me The new Bito seems like a different person so I can't accept her Even though I know she's a different person, she keeps reminding me of Bito's face. Naraba is so. Areva. Warawa no musume to demo moe. Musume? Warawa no tio hikishi. Uri ftatsu no musume to kaishak seo. Alright, this is starting to get a little weird, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, true, she already calls you father anyway, right? Hmm. さすればそなたもあやつをどう受け止めればいいか、True. 少しは考えやすいのではないか、right. it, らしくもなく<笑>うまいたたよしやがって I don't know. ちゃかすでないあやつは我が娘だわらわが死んで残しそなたに託した忘れがたみだわらわの面影を押し付けるも自由恨みつらみをわらわの代わりにぶつけて慰み者としてもよいあああ、ああ、don't do that <笑>わらわの罪を背負わせ好きにさいなめばそなたの鬱憤も晴れようぞ No, you better not それが趣味でないと言うならわらわのように人の道を踏み外さぬよう正しく導くのもまた一興だあやつはそなたに尽くすように生まれながらできておるそなたが望めばどのような姿にだって変えられる千年の奇跡を経たならばわらはそのものにさえなれるかもしれないかつてお前にされたように貧むいて鎖で引っ張り回すことさえ自由だな。ああ、let's not do that <笑>。ああ、oh boy。ああ、よし。ね、ねねねねねねね。そうだな
今ならばそれ以上の非道なる所業さえ、oh, Lord. 可能であろうぞ。Top of the dots, please. Oh, my no, Bunshin de Ari, so stay. Musume. Yes. She is exactly the same person, the same piece, which was created once more by the rule called Beatrice. However, when I'm unable to accept it that way, I can think of her as Beto's daughter, finding a clear guidepost for how to interact with her and smooth the uncertainty in my heart. Finally, I. I understand how cruel I was to her. My tears poured to the ground, and when I followed them with my eyes, I noticed that a white bi business card had fallen onto the floor. What? Oh. It was the message card that had adorned those cookies. I rushed her, telling her to clean up and leave right away, which was probably why it had fallen to the floor unnoticed. I picked it up and read the message on it. It was extremely short, pure, and sincere. It's so clear that I should be able to read it. However, It's blurred with tears, and I can't see anything. This is sad, man. This is, this is a sad episode. What the fuck? Damn, man. Damn. <sighs> the flood of light and sound slowly dissipated. The silence that followed was not interrupted even by the sound of wind and rain outside that had once been present. What the fuck? Both Jessica and George timidly opened their eyes. Where in the world is this? It was a strange room they had never seen before. It looked like a western style smoking room. Its furnishings were stylish and expensive. It felt like the room of some dignified person. There was a set of black tea on the table, as well as a chessboard, which seemed to be halfway through the game. However, There was something strangely out of place. The black and white checkerboard pattern made it feel like chess. But it looked like a very similar yet totally different game that no one knew of. And similar to how it both looked like chess and not like chess. The furnishings of this room, no, the room itself. Thought it seemed like a western smoking room. It also felt like something completely different. Yeah, this is the first time we're seeing this. What the fuck? Hmm. Jessica Oh, okay. 
シャノンが取り出した蝶の羽のようなものがまぶしく光り出したと思ったらわ私もだぜうんカノン君が黄金蝶のブローチとかいうのを取り出したらそれが輝き出して What the fuck is this? This is weird. This is new. What the hell? お嬢様ジョージさんまずはゴブレをお許しください Are they about to fight to the death? <laughs> <laughs> そしてどうか落ち着いてください On one corner we have this couple. <laughs> oh shit. これから不思議なことが起こります You're telling me. Alright. But what else could be strange that's gonna happen? その不思議な存在は私たちを試すでしょう。はあ、ああ。試すそれがひょっとして、さっき君が言っていた、僕たちが結ばれるために乗り越えなくてはならない試練。OK、so when they were all saying that one time, like, If you don't win, I will lose, and blah 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 blah, because it was feeling like a competition. This is what they meant. So it really is a competition. Okay. And one of them is gonna die? One pairing is gonna die? Huh. Maybe, I don't know. Game to you, y a t s n a k a There we go. Shidden? Hm. Ojo Samani or Mada. Set me stay in my sand. Who's gonna be upholding this trial of sorts? Oh, I'm sure. Is it gonna be the game master battler? Or is it gonna be the game piece Beatrice? 先ほどのお嬢様の言葉が本当ならどうか力を貸してください僕も精一杯頑張りますからどうかあ私にはさっきから何一つ分かりゃしねえぜジョージ兄さんは何か知ってるの一応はね今の状況を。君同様に驚いてはいるしかしこれが避けられぬ試練で僕たちに不可欠だと言うならば僕は何が訪れようとも受けて立つつもりだよ試練カノン君ブローチを<笑> The two of them brought the halves of the broken golden butterfly brooch closer to each other As they grew closer, the strength of their bright light,、uh, bright yellow radiance increased. Jessica Chan, no doka, Kokoro no Jumbi o Stoshi. Bokuniwa, Sudeni Sono Jumbi Gar. Do you go to Dio? What does he was so pretty as it? It died. Nani go Kotterna? She didn't die. I shall study no Tamino. She didn't. George spoke these awkward seeming words quickly and easily. It was such an embarrassing line that Jessica couldn't help turning red, but the expression on George's face, which was so serious that it was almost grim, forced her to tense up as well. Shannon and Cannon were just as serious, with a glow in their eyes, as though they were taking part in a sacred duel. The pair of them Brought the two gold butterfly wings together. Then the wings they held became a single brooch and regained their magical power. An even more intense light filled the room, and the scene was burnt into the retinas of all present. As the brooch shattered and two shining things flew out of it. What the fuck? So, I could so a sick eye, Nari. Ah, I 
の力のなんと偉大なことか愛こそは全てなり Suddenly, the voices of two people they had never heard before ran out. What was it? Who were they? Oh, God. Weren't these two from the very beginning of that segment we saw? Well, at least I remember the one on the right. I don't remember the one on the left. And whatever. Huh. George and、Desi uh, Jessica nervously opened their eyes. When they did, they saw that two demons had appeared there, almost as though the two halves of the brush had become them. Oh, yeah? Oka see, so fur fur. Fur fur. Do you see what it was? Kono yo na tokoro ni? Hon to ni fsigi desu wa? Zepar? Zepar. Alright. Ningen to kago shka i nai. Blue one is a pa, and the red one is. well. I guess yellow? Eh, whatever, who cares? Fur fur. Hmm. Weird names, but not bad. Majo, what is it? I think I'm going to be able to get the name of Majo. Ah, I'm going to be able to get the name of Majo. I'm going to be able to get the name of Majo. I'm going to be able to get the name of Majo. Oh, she got to make it the parents too. Considering their exaggerated theatrical manner and their slightly comical style of talking, it'll probably be hard to comprehend their great power at this point. Oh. 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 Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> When the two demons called Beatrice's name, a cyclone of gold butterflies picked up throughout the room. Then it took the form of two golden witches. Oh my goodness! Bok t a t h a t if Tarida Mono Beatrice got Tamani of Tarida Okasku and I saw Koyatsua, Wadawa no Bunsin Niste Emoto da Stariva Onazini Ste Hitorito Onazi. Oh, as you may must. We such very this Beatrice. <laughs> I did it again! No! Okay, anyway. Shkashi, Bozen Jisusuniva, Mada Hayao. Unlike Jessica, George had maintained his composure, even during this bizarre scene. After all, Shannon had already told him what would happen next. Kayakuno Akumatatio, Sashi Buri de Aruna. ゼパルそれにフルフルああお久しぶり君は相変わらず元気そうだねそれにしても可愛らしい妹君ふるんだそのみずみずしい瞳は水密と同じ味がするんじゃないかしら OK グロスえああど,どうでしょうか Don't wonder no Uh, Sapar and Fufu latched on to Beto from either side, wearing strange smiles. Each movement they made was exaggerated yet polished, as though they were acting out a play. So, they could only still care, Kayak no Akumatatio. So, no Wadu Fuzakemo, Koyo Ikagiri de Mio Sametoana Sabisi Monoda Mio Sameto. I don't think I'm going to I don't think I'm gonna miss them. Uh-uh. <laughs> It's a little weird. Mok Tatsu no Yorishiro no Brochua. Mo Kuasarite Shimata Karane. Tsumari Kore de Mo. Oyaku Gomen to you look at. Whoops. Sorry. Ha! 
今まで本当に楽しかったわベアトリーチェでも契約時の取り決めでね最後の別れにもう一度だけ力を重ねばならないと決まっていたのさだからこれが正真正銘最後の奇跡愛の奇跡は一度で十分だって永久の愛に二度目は不要なのだから<笑>そういうわけだ愛し合う男女たちよここに集いしは奇跡なくして恋を成就できぬ呪われし者たちその奇跡を与える黄金蝶のブローチの力はなこうがわめこうが今宵限り最後のチャンスそれは一組のつがいにしか与えられぬ<笑>僕は負けないようんお互い頑張ろうねシャナナとカナナクスチェンジとシリアスゲイズズボーツハードオーディグレディティムセルフとファイトフォーデサイクオフデルーヴよよくわからねえけどよおかしな悪魔の力なんて世話になる気はねえぜジェシカは、ファイナリストリーに戻ってきて、ファイナリストリーに戻ってきて、ファイナリストリーに戻ってきて、ファイナリストリーに戻ってきて、ファイナリストリーに戻ってきて、ファイナリストリーに戻ってきて、ファイナリストリーに戻ってきて、ファイナリストリーに戻ってきて、ファイナリストリーに戻ってきて、ファイナリストリーに戻ってきお嬢様聞いてくださいこの試練を乗り越えなければ僕たちは結ばれないのですジェシカ受け入れよそれが家具の実で人間と結ばれようと願う身の程知らずに課せられる唯一の試練なのである家具とか人間とか勝手に言ってろってんだ私たちには何の関係もねえぜお嬢様にはまだ話していないのどう説明すればいいかわからなくてカノン君もシャノンもジョージ兄さんもどうしてこんなうさんくさい話に耳を貸してんだ人の恋路を邪魔するやつは馬に蹴られて死ねって決まってんだぜなんで悪魔たちに認められなきゃならねえんだよ余計なお世話だぜさては困った分からず屋がいたものよこのままゲームを始めてもよいがそれではフェアとは言えぬな説明してあげてもいいのではないでしょうか私にもよく分かりませんジェシカさんとカノンさんの恋に何か問題でもあるというのですかやれやれどうやら君も君たちも何も分かっていないようだね私たちに祝福されれば二人の恋をゆっくり育むことができるのうさんくさい悪魔も何にも関係ないわでももし僕らに祝福されなければ君たちの恋路は消えてなくなり枯れてしおれて消えてしまうなんでそんなことが言えるんだよ運命だから認めないのも自由抗わないことだって自由あ抗わないとどうなるんですか恋路が終わる。と抽象的な言い方では納得すまいはてどう説明すればそなたの運命の袋小路を説明できるのか後ろ宮ジェシカ君が信じているよりはるかに君たちの未来は善と多難魔法の奇跡が得られなかったなら必ずや二人に。災いが訪れるのそしてそれがかぶれただれ二人を破綻させる
わらわもその過程を詳細に語るほど無粋ではないしかしジェシカが信じぬというなら破綻の最後だけ語ろうカノンは使用人をやめこの島を去る永遠にな君は島を出て思い人を探す旅に出るだろうねしかしそれは決して報われないはあそうしてあなたは嘆いて恨むの誰をあなたを僕をかいいいえ今のあなたを Oh my god, what the f- Why? <laughs> what the hell? Okay, that was weird. Game, why? <laughs> With a dramatic gesture, the two of them pointed at Jessica. They were saying that if she left, the person left with regrets would be Jessica herself. そうさ、僕たちは未来の君からのメッセンジャー。どうか今のこの瞬間を、君の声に真剣になって、戦いに臨んでほしい。もしあなたが、未来の自分のメッセージに耳を貸さないならば。王を飲み込む愚かな蛇はそのままどんどん飲み込み続け平園の苦悩の輪廻は自らを飲み込み消えるのみよ訳がわからないジェシカ's confusion showed on her face as anger however a memory of something she'd heard a long time ago Welled up in the back of her head. Yes. Unlike Nissan, I don't plan on working here for many years. After just a few years, or possibly if Nissan ever decides to stop working here, I think I'll stop working too. Kano. <clears throat> <clears throat> ソナタが魔法の奇跡をシャノンとジョージに譲るなら二人は結ばれ島を出るそしてカノンもまた島を出るそれは酒への運命なのだででは魔法の奇跡を得られたならむろんカノンは島にとどまり いつまでもジェシカのそばにいるジェシカが望んだ音楽活動とやらも一緒に始められるだろうそれ以上の関係にどう進むかは愛し合う二人の問題だジェシカが望むように二人だけでゆっくりと関係を育めばよいただその場合
though she couldn't accept any of it. Jessica was unable to argue back. Then, George spoke up with that soft tone that he always used to smooth things over. However, his expression was still ruthlessly serious. どんな試練も障害も自己自任さんはこの訳のわからない話で納得してるっていうのかよ。納得なんか必要ないよ。僕はシャノンと結ばれるために全ての試練と障害と戦うことを婚約指輪にかけて誓った。どんな理不尽な到底理解できない試練であ
Kanon was also doing all he could to restrain himself. Yes, all of them were being serious and frank, and abandoning any naivety. What the fuck did I just say? <laughs> and abandoning any naiv naivety. Yeah, they might have possessed. I was adding an extra itty. I don't know why. <laughs> All this about golden butterfly brooches and miracles of magic. And the trial that the demons were giving them. None of it mattered. Only one thing was being tested. Whether or not they possessed a strong will to make their love come true. Jessica clenched her fists and hung her head, shaking while biting her lower lip. She was silent, but she, sh uh, but she would probably gain an unswerving will of steel before too long. She just needed a little time first. The two demons who taunted people with dramatic gestures did not violate this silence that Jessica needed to resolve herself. Love brings about conflict, and this conflict uh, gives rise to determination. As the demons of love, they could understand more fully than any others how noble that determination was. Jessica she had thought this had been about two pairs of lovers. Rito was surprised to suddenly hear that this had something to do with her as well. その僕Rito hung her head sadly. She hadn't wanted to lose heart from that kooky incident. However, it would have been a massive lie to say that it hadn't hurt her. The more she tried to get close to Battler, the more she hurt him. However, she had been born in order to get close to Battler. She was like a hedgehog freezing in the cold and bunching together for warmth. She had approached him because of love and had been hurt for it. So Oh no, come on. Ah, <sighs> son of a bitch. よろしく。もう一人のベアトリーチ。ノー。ノー。私たちは初めからあなたも加えるつもりでいましたわ。さらばベッチ。なぜならおう、ガッド。私も、参加しても
君が望むならいいんじゃないかい誰であっても僕は拒まないよ全ての障害に勝利し全員に僕たちを祝福させるもちろん逆でもさ全力の僕たちを退けて成し得た恋ならば僕もシャノンも心の底から勝利した二人を祝福することを約束するよねシャノンはい私たちは負けませんそして負けても心の底から祝福します僕も同じです僕は負けませんいけねえ喧嘩だってんなら買おうじゃねえかよ私もカノン君も不先輩ってのだけはごめんだぜそれはそなたもだなあはいお父様にあいえバトラさんに私を認めてもらえる可能性がわずかでもいただけるなら私もそれに自らをかけたいと思いますよくぞ言ったそれでこそ我が妹ゼパルフルフル役者は揃ったぞそれでは始めようかフルフルええ始めましょうゼパルたった一つの魔法の奇跡をめぐっての愛し合う者たちの試練を I don't think this is gonna turn out great. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> What's gonna happen? I don't fucking know. Oh god. <laughs> Why? Oh shit. Oh, this can't turn out well, can it? <laughs> Alright. Well, that's gonna be unfortunately the end of this video here. Hopefully, you all enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like, share the video, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, because there will be more Imanekido coming soon. <sighs> I said that so fast, I think I slurred some of the words there. <laughs> but you know the drill anyway. <laughs>、uh, as I said at the very beginning, I have a new link in the,、um, in the description that will bring you to my Patreon. So go ahead and check that out. And、uh, there was also a link to my Twitter. So go ahead and check that out. Follow it if you will for any further future updates. And、uh, yeah, that's all I'm going to say. So、uh, until next time, please, as a reminder, stay sinful, folks. <laughs> <laughs>